Oh my gosh, okay, so first technical glitch so far of the day. Uh, and I'm standing on an incline. This is a bank. It's about, I don't know, 35 degrees, 36, 38 degrees, something like this. And uh, I'm just doing some stretches. I'm getting in. Y'all know I was a yoga instructor. And I am truly a yogi in many ways. And uh, yes, being not able to go to a gym for such an extended period is obviously has a huge impact on my body, our bodies. Um, and not least of which for myself, oneself, is possibility of opportunity of going to classes which I for one was really enjoying for quite a long while there and as a matter of fact became proficient enough somewhat so that it was, at a certain point I actually was obtaining certifications and instructing classes in you know one of those big chain big box gyms and that was fun for a while. Ah. And the funnest part was the exploration of one's own body. Ah. Because obtaining the certification um, required a lot of things, including the submission of a 60-minute demo tape of you leading a, a sample class as well as uh, in that video, one of the many things it was to demonstrate was your actual, actual ability to achieve and maintain the poses, the postures. In yoga terms, they didn't use these terms, but in yoga terms, asanas. So, and this is a matter of progress and breathing and familiarity and also one's ability you know and then the next level up or two or three levels up possibly is the ability to explain what one is demonstrating as or while one's doing it in front of an audience an advanced step just in time for them to follow one's vocal my spoken out instructions on the PA system with the wireless headset, normally with a belt pack, battery pack, at that time anyway. And, uh, yeah. So, that was fun. Ugh. Anyway, that was a while back, and uh, a while ago. And... As everyone knows, suddenly this year everything shut, got shut down and everything has changed for everyone. And I don't know, I can't think of anybody who has some, has some significant impact. Anyway, whatever. This is not about that. Ugh. This is about, in a way, you could say economizing or making do or getting it done nevertheless or despite the ordinary or extraordinary uh, uh, consequences uh, and results as doing it anyway and um, not not being held back or not making life's petty challenges, minor quibbles and squabbles south of the border, <laughs> but not not letting anything at all really interfere with 
<sighs> a steady practice, a diet almost, in a way, of maintaining financial, yes. However, also, most importantly, social, um, personal, emotional, physical. And that is all to say together, spiritual, to ah, continue to reach in daily to find and discover and find new places for exploration. And through that new ideas, new ways of oh, continuing the flow and the beauty and the grace of life uh, nevertheless and singly if no two wart ahead uh, for anything or anyone As to direct one's body and one's breath through a series of progressions and movements at once personal and divine. Therefore, low yogic logic infused into life this way. This is yogic fusion. Exemplified by a big bee masquerading as sometimes Bran Bryce. Oh. Experiencing a full on yogic implosion. Through solitary usage of the wilderness in the woods next to nearby a parking lot. <laughs> and well within reach of anyone able bodied. Mm. Even during this quarantine period. And I guess maybe I might should add, especially during this, because what better time to get in touch that both with ourselves and our exterior, external environment. Hello, here we are, this is this. We're in our woods together. Literally this morning, this afternoon, presently, switching legs. Oh. Now, normally, if this were a classroom situation, this would be 
somewhat more choreographed, so I was in like quite a bit more. And done with timing and stru vocal instruction, demonstration, and it would most definitely, almost for sure, have been upon a flat floor with a yoga mat on it, which presently we're lacking both of. And trust me, the yoga mat would help whatsoever <laughs> in the forest floor. <sighs> However, what we have done in the first 10 minutes here or so is we've opened up the legs and the hips, the ankles and the feet, and, you know, really gotten low. Low, 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 low. And we have paid some attention throughout oh, to mimic side to side. Oh, low, lower. And it's only by sometimes efforting a little bit through assisting gravity, in other words, and then releasing, do we discover, and then allowing the breath to be free in this, not holding statue, that we experience an opening and a lengthening in our joints. The rain is really beginning to come down now. So I think I may have to put on my furry ball cap again. Yeah, I don't normally wear two hats. However, this is the rain which is now getting up again. Speaking of which, I'm gonna, we're gonna get up again here with this because it's getting all wet. <laughs> we are wonderful with our weird and wonderful waterproof Samsung smartphone <laughs> and our two apps. And it is wet in the woods with winter. Not really, though. It's actually still only November 14th, a Saturday, 2020. And I uh, hope you enjoyed that first little nocturnal tweet you might have seen with the yoga motions I'm not sure but anyway there was a uh, one just now it's just afternoon in as I said Lynn Lynn Bali uh, in North Vancouver Canada <laughs> And a retweet at Hello from Canada. <laughs> Instagram at Hello from Canada. <sighs> okay, so there's a little dry. I maybe it should stay here for a while. I don't know, because it is. We are really raining. And normally I'd go for be walking in the woods. But I can see and tell, and there's quite a few people about because they're filming a movie set as well. Can you see that? Do, do, do. Not really. Here, I'll go up here. You see what's going on here. Cars, parking lot, tents. I'm quite certain. It's, they're shooting it's a movie or TV show here today, and it's pouring rain. So it gives me two reasons to not really want to go for a walk in the woods. Someone's left some material possessions here on the end of this bench. Leave them alone. Could be a bomb. Could be anything. Anyway, it's certainly not at a glance anything of my desire 
nor interest. And, uh, yeah, didn't seem to be any kind of impending doom or emergency. No crying babies. That's, you know, I think that's like no, no real reason to get involved with some random stray knapsack and objects on a picnic table. Anyway, so there are three down that way. There's one. So we've got about three large and one. Actually, I'd say maybe three extra large or very long picnic tables. And one. I did say that other one over there is actually a large one. Even though know, it's a little bit more cheaply made. These are big and heavy. And they aren't going anywhere. They're on steel pillars cast into the concrete floor, into the cement. <coughs> well, maybe we'll walk around up here a little bit. Wish there were filters on this. <laughs> I guess maybe filters may be applied afterwards. I don't know. Um, yeah, hashtag no makeup challenge. <laughs> uh, which must be a pretty a fairly good sign overall um, that <laughs> you know just that I am feeling okay I enjoyed how I'm how we're looking at the moment you know how we're looking at the moment <laughs> Oh, uh, but hashtag, but seriously, boom, ba -doom. um, no, I'm not going to ask you guys anything like that. Um, I'll just ask you to ask me questions. Why not? And, uh, that's... Hashtag dangerous, seriously? <laughs> well, yeah, sure, because just because one is asked a question does not provi provide another or put another under any obligation, any obligation whatsoever to answer the question. However, <laughs> I'll actually, I will endeavor to really to answer your questions. If I see, you know, you upvoting or asking the same questions, um, or, you know, really being authentically asking me a question, or just being trivial, what am I saying? I don't know. Um, do not be obnoxious, no purpose in that. And yeah. Why not? Ask me a question. We'll all find out. <laughs> or maybe not. But, you know, sometimes it's open to indicate that, you know, expression of some utter triviality or nonsense or something out in the world or on YouTube or Instagram or TikTok or whatnot or this thought. <laughs> could um, somehow provide me, us, we, we, them, with an opportunity for, you know, hashtag insta-celebrity, insta-famous, insta-wealthy, uber-nations, um, make a difference, challenge. <laughs> I you know, as though it's likely that suddenly everyone and everything snaps into focus. Not, if not for you, for them. You know, almost, as it were, instantaneously. And, you know, in other words, you wake up, it's suddenly something like sunshine, you know. You, you, you realize, hey, there's this whole segment 
of our population who, you know, is interested in X or Y or Z or Z. <laughs> I don't mind Z as a derivative of Z. Z actually sounds more likely the sound of that shape, the Zorro shape. Anyway, I don't mind what's been happening. Because here's the thing, guys. If I did, or if you did, or if anybody did, then what difference would this make? Well, I'll tell you. The difference it will make to be quote unquote upset or in any way impacted if you really want to extend it therefore is it's illogical nonsense it's the only thing it, it, it can be is death to the ego because it's only our ego which has been or is in our habit of attempting to control us, you, me, that thing, this thing I'm looking at right here, right now, this device, this is whatever, tool, person, relationship, see... I don't know if you see where we're going, but back to how communications are fundamentally, increasingly uh, connecting us as well as in certain, some cases in large swaths or categories disconnecting us through from our sensibilities it's our human reality and our human existence <sighs> when at the same time we have this ability here now you and I personally right here right now to connect and to be as one and to imagine that just for a moment we are actually here together here right here right now with all the urgency and peace and serenity that the sign implies. Shh, do not disturb the native habitat. <laughs> it's like, okay. Well, they're just saying don't go over this fence, right? Because they're restoring the native forest. Because otherwise people are just trampling around and uh, everywhere and uh, the ferns and the smaller plants don't really have a chance. Understandable. I think that's the general picture. You can correct me if we're wrong. Doubtless. Well. Nevertheless, possibly uh, just about now is a great time to ask you to think just for a moment if you've enjoyed this time here together with us 
so far that, um, you know, just take a second, it really, really can make a huge difference. You don't have any idea. If you like, subscribe, and comment on this channel or this moment <laughs> or what have you. And I make every serious effort um, to respond and to reply to uh, all messages I get eventually. There's no promises to exactly when, but I really, I make, you know, it's a daily, a daily efforts thing, chipping away at them. And so I really enjoy those, actually. Some of those are quite helpful and meaningful. Um, you know, even just as a scientist, as a statistician. Oh, look, from Craig from California had to say, isn't that interesting? I wonder if that is a widely held perspective. Oh, Anthony from Alabama. He also had something to say on this subject. However, his point of view was Y, whereas Craig's was X. You know, it's engaging. It'll be interesting to see in years to come um, if this continues to interest data scientists, uh, other people, sort of outreach through possibly a provincial or the rich state. And, um, I don't know what, of Canada, <laughs> and see. However, this is all, you know, at this moment, we're just in the forest, we're basically in the forest floor. We're happen to be in a picnic area in the forest floor under a covered roof uh, at the moment on a concrete floor. Do, do, do. Um, <laughs> nevertheless, we're actually in the greater scheme of things, surrounded by woods, trees, forest, and um, it's just really raining. I won't say cats and dogs, it's raining neither cats nor dogs. Cats nor dogs. That was very Dame Edna look, wasn't it? <laughs> Maybe it requires her spectacles. Spectacle instant moment. <laughs> uh, Jeffree Star hashtag bing wand moment. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Yay, Jeffrey. <sighs> and what else? Well, do we want to dive in? Do we get started with something else? Um, I think what we can do maybe is we can wrap it up with this update that there's something I've been wanting to talk with you about for a while. And I don't necessarily when I get started with this, because it's a huge topic right now, unless we're really going to take some time and sit down and discuss and, well, I don't know, why do we have to be sitting down? I mean, I could... Uh, I could do some more yogic stretching, but however, I feel it's actually still so nice. Oh, you don't know. You don't know how much I love you. And you don't know how. It's been lovely. I really enjoyed our hangout, our little chats together. And, um, yeah, if you stop here right all the way to the end, I'm really grateful. 
and uh, or however long you could stay on this. And not all our things are like this, but subscribe to me now here. And sayonara from.